everybody, I'm Cory, an animal care technician here at the Salado Wildlife Education Center. And for today's creature feature, I'm going to be giving you an inside look at a training session with one of our most popular residents here at the center, the black bear. A little bit of background on our bear, he is one of the animals that we train every day as he's willing. We don't make our animals do anything they don't want to do, but as you can see, he's usually pretty, pretty ready to go like he is today. He's a little sleepy, but <laughs> he's ready to work. Uh, he is going to be 19 this year. He came to us in, uh, from South Dakota. He was born in 2001 at a facility up there. He came to live here with us in, uh, when he was about six months old. So he's been here pretty much his whole life. You may be thinking, gosh, 19, that's pretty old for a bear, isn't it? Well, it is old for a wild bear, but in captivity, bears can actually live up into their upper 20s and lower 30s because they don't have to worry about food, water, shelter. They don't have to worry about hunting or predation and they also get regular vet care. And he is pretty big. He's actually about 650 pounds. So he is much bigger than an average Kentucky bear. And there is a reason for that. So South Dakota black bears have to be much bigger because South Dakota has much colder winters. Rule of thumb is the farther away from the equator you get, the colder the winters are, and the larger those animals have to be to withstand those harsh winters. As I mentioned, this is one of the animals we train every day, and there are several reasons for that. The main reason being, it gives us a really good chance to look at how well he's doing that day. We can get a good look at his teeth, his paws, his stomach, and we can see how well he's moving around. And he's actually trained to do medical behaviors so that he can participate in his own vet work. Uh, it also breaks up his routine throughout the day. We make sure that we try not to uh, train him at the same time every day. We mix up behaviors so that he's not expecting what behavior comes next. So he gets both of his mind and his body moving for that day. So before we begin, I'd like to give you a little bit uh, of walk you through some of the equipment I have here with me today. First, we have our training food. So every time the bear does a behavior correctly, he will get rewarded with food. If the training food runs out, we discontinue training because we don't want to ask him to do something without having that positive reinforcement that we want to give him. The bait stick is what we use to slide the food to him, so that's pretty simple. This is called a pole syringe. This is what we use to give the bear his yearly vaccines. When we are giving the vaccines, there is a needle on the end of this, but when we're just practicing, we don't need the needle on it. This piece actually has two ends to it. The first piece is a mouthpiece that he can rest his teeth on when we ask to see his mouth. Checking a bear's teeth is a great way to see how healthy he is. Make sure those teeth aren't yellow, brittle, cracking, and make sure his gums aren't red and irritated. The other end of the stick is a target stick. So we can put this in the exhibit and he will touch his nose to the end of it. We can get him moving, get him to change positions, see how he's moving around and make sure that he's healthy. So he looks like he's about ready to go and I'm sure you guys are too, so let's get to it. I'll be using a whistle to uh, tell him when he's done a behavior correctly. When he hears that whistle, he knows he's done it right and he's gonna get rewarded for it. Bear up. down. Mouth. Beautiful mouth.
target. Go ahead and put those in the comment section down below and we'll be happy to get those answered for you.